Hey guys, welcome back to another Chatman video. Uh, this is just a really quick video. Uh, I've been doing a lot of short ones lately, but uh, I was digging around and I found one of the Gundam Base Premium Nippers that I bought from Gundam Base Tokyo uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, I was like, oh, you know what? Why don't I give it a try? Uh, I was starting to think I don't want to use my God Hand to do the first cut off of a sprue tree. And uh, so I was looking for another cutter and thought, hey, since I found this, let's give it a shot and see how they compare in, uh, in, when, in regards to the, clean, the cleanliness of the cut, nub marks, and, and stuff like that. Um, so I will be cutting right along the plastic instead of making two cuts. I'm going to make one cut and then do the same thing with the god hand and just compare the difference. So um, I'm going to put these pieces aside and just give this thing a quick open. So, it's visually, visually, this is a much pointier at the end, versus the god hand is flat nose. Um, it's not focusing, it's too close I guess. It feels pretty good. The spring, because it's brand new, it's a bit more bouncy or springy because it is brand new. Uh, they look and feel fairly similar. Uh, it does have the Gundam Base logo, which you can clearly see there. And then the God Hands one. I'm going to cut M. Eight. Where's M8? Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna give one quick, one direct cut here. And I'm choosing to do this on purpose because I want to uh, just show how clean this is or isn't. Mm. Doesn't feel quite as clean. Yeah, it's definitely not comparable to God Hand in any way. It's not that great. Uh, M13, where's 13? Here we go. Just the feel of, of cutting through it is nowhere as, as smooth as with the God Hand. Now, this piece I did cut earlier, so I shouldn't have done that. Uh, God hand, yeah, the God hand cuts through this smoothly, cleanly. Clean that up. But yeah, just just the actual feel of the cuts. It's not very good. So this is the Gundam Premium Nipper. Pretty bad, actually. Not very good at all. Um, these ones, sorry, here we go. This one I cut previously with the God Hand. So you, you see them in the proper light, but if you change the angle, they're not as noticeable. So yeah, still God Hand. Uh, God Hand reigns supreme, still the king of nippers, uh, if you do want to do one cuts. So what I'm going to use this for instead, since it's open now and it's brand new, um, why have something that, why buy something and not use it? Uh, I'll be using it to, to do the first cuts, to get it off the sprue, and then do the final and clean cut with the God Hand, uh, and help preserve the longevity and the life of the blades in, in this guy. I uh, don't want to have to buy another God Hand, they're, they're pretty expensive, so... I hope you guys will appreciate this video. Not buy anything like this again. Um, I can't remember how much was their price on this. Uh, no, no price tag. I don't know how to uh, read barcodes. But uh, it, it wasn't that expensive when I bought it. I can't remember. If it was expensive, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys like this comparison video. Uh, if you do appreciate it and want to see more, please give the video a like.
uh, I, and in a previous video I mentioned for fun, uh, just a personal goal, I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and see if I can get a, a YouTube button. So I want to ask for your support. It's free of charge to uh, click the subscribe button, share the video, give it a like. I plan to make more short tutorial or tip videos um, over the course of the year and uh, earn, earn your likes and subscribes that way. But uh, yeah, please help me out and uh, see if you can help a brother out. Get uh, You have the power to help me get my button. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. See you guys again real soon.